Do not attempt to adjust your audio settings. Your system is working at optimum capability. There is no need to look over your shoulder, just relax. Breathe. It will all soon be crystal clear. There we are. True Horror Stories of Texas, Sighting of La Llorona. Tonight's story goes back to the year 1986, during a hot summer night in McAllen, Texas, where two longtime friends, without their parents' permission, decided to take a little trip. That night, my friend Isaac decided to go fishing with his buddy at a reservoir next to McAllen Miller Airport. Unbeknownst to his parents, Isaac took all the fishing gear they had impacted in the trunk of his mom's car, snagged her keys, and took off with his friend. Hey man, your parents are cool with this, right? We're not gonna get in any trouble, are we? It's all good, dude. What they don't know won't hurt them. Oh man, you're crazy. Rock on, man. Back then, a lot of teens went to party at the reservoir at night and made an opening through a wired fence. Well, Isaac and his friend got there without any problem and gained access to the reservoir. They unloaded everything and started to fish in the middle of what they thought would be a gentle and calm night. Hey, uh, grab the bait. It's in the cooler. It's a cool night, bro. After some time and no bites, they noticed an eerie quiet fall over the night as, as if all the wildlife had left the area. Hey man, toss me another one, would you? Do you hear that? Hear what? That's my point. What happened to all the frogs and crap? I don't hear anything anymore. It's like they've all left. At that moment, a white mist started to form in the middle of the reservoir. And Isaac stared at the mist as a silhouette began to form. What the heck is that? I I don't know. After a few seconds, Isaac starts to make out the shape of a woman floating in the water, gliding in the air with a long, soaking wet dress and flowing black hair. Oh, heck no. Isaac, come on. His friend, scared to death, quickly heads for the car. Isaac freezes in terror, his arms and limbs unable to move out of pure fear. Isaac, come on, man. Get out of there. He begins to breathe heavily as the lady in white stares directly at him. All of a sudden, they both hear the most blood-curdling scream they have ever heard in their lives. And as the specter got closer to the edge of the water, Isaac snapped out of it and ran to the car, got in it, and punched the gas pedal as hard as he could, leaving out of there. When they finally got home shaken and scared, they realized they forgot all the fishing gear. But they were too scared to go back and get them. Thinking back on it now, I remember Isaac telling me that their lives were much more valuable than all those material things. And one thing's for sure, they vowed never to return to that place again. The next time you decide to take a late night fishing trip with your friends, be careful what you use as bait. You never know what you might end up catching. True Horror Stories of Texas. Until next time, stay spooky, my friends. <laughs>